News tonight at 11, jobs, crime, and the budget, all big topics at tonight's Dayton mayoral debate. Good evening, I'm Mark Allen. And I'm Michelle Kingsfield. Incumbent Ryan McClinn and challenger Gary Leitzel laid out different strategies for making Dayton succeed. Holly Samuels live tonight with their plans in our top story at 11. Holly? Well, the debate wrapped up just a few hours ago. It was the first time that Dayton residents saw both candidates really talk about what they see for the future of Dayton, and they both painted very different pictures about how they will lead Dayton to a brighter future. Mayor Ryan McClinn, the eight-year incumbent, and Gary Leitzel, an independent Pennsylvania native who spent the last decade getting involved with his neighborhood association and other local organizations here in Dayton, faced off for the first time tonight. Both candidates addressed those issues that have been weighing heavily on the minds of Dayton residents, crime, the budget, and our economic development. For the last eight years, first in flight has had a completely different meaning in this town. People are leaving instead of being innovative and creative. Leitzel says the secret to growing Dayton's economy is small business and marketing the area to entrepreneurs. Mayor McClinn agreed. She pointed to the resources she helped to cultivate during her time as mayor, such as Tech Town. We have everything that we need right here to make Dayton move in the right direction for the next generation. Still, Dayton's armed robbery rates are on the rise, and the suburban perception is that the city is not safe. Panelists asked the candidates how they'd change that on a small budget. Mayor McClinn pointed to technology, such as automated alert systems and red light cameras. You don't have a police officer sitting there. Uh, now, when everyone goes through a red light, they're caught on camera. Leitzel says he'd put more emphasis on changing the image of police in the neighborhoods and getting the community involved. You know, you only need six neighbors in a block to share phone numbers and you've got yourself a block watch because they'll start looking out for each other. He was citing things that uh, I think a lot of people agree with. Things got to change. The mayor did a wonderful job of explaining what is really happening in the city of Dayton because she's got eight years of experience and knows what's going on. I have the connections from the president all the way down to the local level. And those are the connections and relationships that will make the difference for Dayton. I stand for safer, thriving neighborhoods. I want to see a customer-centric city hall that works for you, the citizens. And I also think we need to be facilitators of business and, and uh, economic development. Well, the decision is yours, and you'll have a chance to vote for mayor on November 3rd. Reporting live in downtown Dayton, I'm Holly Samuels, 2 News on your side.